guys welcome to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video because you didn't have to but while you're here please like share and subscribe today i'm doing a diy it's going to be like a memory table di diy like a picture table or whatever you want to call it um i already sent the table down and i have some black and white pictures that i purchased from walmart it's a lot of pictures here And what I'm going to do is start gluing these um, these pictures on the table with Pod Mod or yeah, I think that's what I'm used. But I'm glue these down on the table, let them dry, and then we're gonna put some epoxy over them, and we're gonna see how this um, project turn out. So if you want to see how this turn out make sure you continue watching okay so what i'm about to do is arrange pictures on the table so i can get a feel of how i want them to go and then i'm going to start going down <laughs> this is what the table is looking like so far um i know these pictures are off the edges but i'm gonna take a what's those knife called Esco knife presco knife whatever the knife called that has the sharp edge i'm gonna take that and i'm going to cut the edges off around the table so we can uh, fit properly and I'm going to fill these in the little gaps and stuff in. Just here, here, and over there too. With some little pictures that I cut up. So I'm going to fill those in. And this is how much I have left. Y'all, yeah. I underestimated this project. Laying out pictures is harder than you think. It really is. So... Right now, I'm just trusting the process and I'm gonna keep going. Some Mod Podge and pour it all over the pictures and use a sponge to evenly spread the Mod Podge all over the picture. Make sure you cover each picture and evenly spread it out. You're going to let this dry two to three hours before you move to the next step. So now 
table is fully dry. Everything is dry completely. We're going to get the epoxy, which I already mixed up together. I already mixed side A with side B. And this how much I have right now. I'm going to use some more. I just want to see how far this is going to go. I already mixed this for about five minutes. I'm going to put on my gloves and then we're going to start spreading the epoxy. Okay, when you spread it, make sure you stay close to the table. I'm going to naturally let it spread for a little bit. This is my second batch of epoxy. I went ahead and spread it out and then I'm gonna wait two to three minutes so it can naturally spread by itself. Um, you can go ahead and use the 16 ounce bottles, the side A and side B, but I went ahead and let one layer spread and then let the next layer spread. Don't wait no more than five minutes to let it naturally spread because then it begins to get tacky. And once it gets tacky, it's hard to work with and you're going to start getting um, bubbles and stuff like that. So don't wait no more than five minutes to let it spread. Once it naturally spread, here I'm using a silicone brush, flat brush to spread it out across the table. You can use a um, paint brush with, make sure you use the brush that the brushes, it don't shed. But a silicone brush, flat brush always works better with epoxy. So evenly spread that out all over the table. Make sure you get the edges and always protect your floor or whatever so surface you're working with when you're using epoxy because once it dries is most likely you won't be able to get it up okay guys here's the finished look i love how this came out it's so glossy almost like glass almost See, let me stand back so you guys can see how it look far back that's how it looks i'm so happy with the results